Alagliptin is a dipeptidyl peptidase 4, DPP4, inhibitor used to treat hyperglycemia in patients with type 2 diabetes mellitus. In this video, let's find found. What is alagliptin? What is alagliptin used for? Contraindication. What are the side effects of taking alagliptin? How does alagliptin work? How to use alagliptin? What is alagliptin? Alagliptin, sold under the brand names Nezina and Vipidia, is an oral anti-diabetic drug in the DPP-4 inhibitor class. Alagliptin does not decrease the risk of heart attack and stroke. In April 2016, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA, added a warning about increased risk of heart failure. It was developed by SYRRX, a company which was acquired by Takeda Pharmaceutical Company in 2005. In 2020, it was the 295th most commonly prescribed medication in the United States, with more than 1 million prescriptions. What is alagliptin used for? Indicated as an adjunct to diet and exercise to improve glycemic control in adults with type 2 diabetes mellitus. Contraindication Alagliptin is contraindicated in patients with a history of hypersensitivity to alagliptin, such as anaphylaxis, urticaria, angioedema, exfoliative dermatitis or other serious allergic skin condition including Stevens-Johnson syndrome or bronchial hypersensitivity. Side effects The most common side effects of Nezina include Cold-like symptoms Try taking paracetamol or ibuprofen regularly for a few days. Headaches Make sure you rest and drink plenty of fluids. Stomach ache or indigestion Try to rest and relax. Diarrhea Drink lots of fluids such as water or squash to avoid dehydration. Rash or itchy skin Pharmacodynamic Peak inhibition of DPP-4 occurs within 2-3 to three hours after a single-dose administration to healthy subjects. The peak inhibition of DPP-4 exceeded 93% across doses of 12.5 mg to 800 mg. Inhibition of DPP-4 remained above 80% at 24 hours for doses greater than or equal to 25 mg. Alagliptin also demonstrated decreases in postprandial glucagon while increasing postprandial active GLP-1 levels, compared to placebo over an 8-hour period following a standardized meal. Alagliptin does not affect the QTC interval. Mechanism of action Alagliptin inhibits dipeptidyl peptidase 4, DPP-4, which normally degrades the incretins glucose-dependent insulinotropic polypeptide, GIP and glucagon-like peptide 1, GLP-1. The inhibition of DPP-4 increases the amount of active plasma incretins, which helps with glycemic control. GIP and GLP-1 stimulate glucose-dependent secretion of insulin in pancreatic beta cells. GLP-1 has the additional effects of suppressing glucose-dependent glucagon secretion, inducing satiety, reducing food intake, and reducing gastric emptying. Half-life. Terminal half-life equals 21 hours. Dose. Diabetes mellitus type 2. Indicated as an adjunct to diet and exercise to improve glycemic control in adults with type 2 diabetes mellitus. 25 mg POQ day. Safety advice. AUTGA pregnancy category B3. Drugs, which have been taken by only a limited number of pregnant women and women of childbearing age, without an increase in the frequency of malformation or other direct or indirect harmful effects on the human fetus having been observed. That's all the information about alagliptin we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the HeInfo channel if you like this video to update more health information.